I am excited today. I bought this. Let's get into the sun here so you can see it. I bought this at uh, Bass Pro Shop the other day. This is the Yum Ned Rig Kit. And it has 17 things in it. Three different baits, five baits each. It's got five Ned Dingers, which are the Cinco baits. It's got five Ned Minnows. And it's got five Ned Craws. And then it has two Ned Heads. So I bought this specifically because there's a lot of these kind of pre-packaged things that they're putting out there now. This here Ned Rig Kit. Ned Rig Essentials Kit. So I'm going to fish it today. The water has finally thawed. Check it out. Soft water. But you can see it's muddy water. That's because we just got a lot of rain. And the mud is not does not help a Ned Rig. A Ned Rig technique is a sight technique. So I'm hoping that uh, there's enough clarity for this to work. Uh, all we can do is try. So, what am I using for for my setup here? I'm using a spinning reel, and I use braid on my spinning reels, and I use this line called Nanofill, and that's what this is, Nanofill. And the water's muddy enough. Normally, I'll put, I'll use a fluorocarbon leader. But today I don't even think I'm going to put a leader on since the water's dirty enough. If I don't get any bites at all, then I may have to go to a leader. So we're going to start with this. This uh, rod is just a um, St. Croix Mojo Bass rod. These rods are not very expensive. I think they're probably in the $100 range or so. And this is the Wacky rod. These Mojo bass rods, uh, I've, I've been using them for years and years, especially on the spinning side. And they're very reliable, they're durable. They're durable rods and, and they last a long time. And the guides in particular have lasted me a really long time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with this, uh, this uh, wacky style spinning rod let me look and see if it tells me this is a 6.8 medium power rod with an extra fast action so extra fast means this tip here bends really sharply and most of the rest of the rod is rather stout um, that's all that means so i don't think you know when you're when you're especially if you're fishing for fun the action and all that stuff of your rod matters, but it's not critical. It's not crucial. You can just go buy yourself a basic ugly stick at Walmart, and you can Ned Rig with it just fine. So let me get this bait tied on, and then we'll hit the water. Okay, this Ned Rig kit comes in, uh, it came with two heads. And one, of course, is a lot heavier than the other. And I prefer, especially if I'm fishing in a pond, I prefer to go smaller and lighter. So the big head is uh, an eighth of an ounce, which still is not huge. And the small head is one twelfth of an ounce. That's this one. I know from this perspective, they probably look about the same, but I'm going to go with this 12th of an ounce head. Um, really, you can manipulate the bait, in my opinion, a lot better the lighter it is. You can, especially if you're fishing around grass or, or other kind of cover that you are trying to fish around, I just think lighter is better. And Ned Cady, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, who is the guy who invented the Ned Rig, he believes in the same principle. He uses very small light wire hooks 
and he he even pinches the barbs off the hooks which i don't do unless i go to canada where you have to by law but uh he uses very tiny hooks with tiny weights and he catches lots of fish so the size of the hook matters the size of the weight matters but you don't always need huge so the yum ned rig kit as i mentioned before comes with these yum dingers little craws and little minnows and i'm going to start with the dinger so one of the unique things about a yum dinger the actual yum brand is they have a hollow cavity here that's just got air and you can see that they have a hole in the end of it which you might can see i don't know if it'll and this is supposed to make this thing float or stick up better and i don't know if it works or not the yum dinger kind of got a lot of popularity when last year on the saint lawrence river one of the elite guys won a tournament fishing a ned rig with these yum dingers now they're not as uh they're not made out of a Laztec, so they're not as durable as the z-man uh, turds trds but they still will last for quite a while so this is the one i'm going to start with Okay, things are picking up. I had, I think it was the same fish, but I had, I had a bite on and um, tried to set the hook and it wasn't there. So then I dropped right back in the same spot and he took it and started to swim away, but I still uh, wasn't able to get him. So not sure why, but I got a feeling the yum dinger is going to work today. Here he is, fish number one on the yum dinger. That's what he ate. It's very cold, the water. Subtle presentation. Like I said, I think uh, they're really going to eat this today, but I think the water is so stained that this is kind of this is put me at a disadvantage. So I have to keep fighting myself to not go to a reaction bait or something that's noisier that could be picked up in the water. But I'm testing out the Yum Dinger kit, so I got to stick with it. wind is just blowing really hard today so it's made it's moving it way too fast so this is one thing fairly obvious but i'll just mention it a lot of times your fish are going to be in the weeds or right along the edge 
edge of like that weed line there. So you're gonna increase your odds if you can cast and retrieve parallel to those weeds a lot of times. You've got to figure out where they're at and what they're doing, but this is kind of what I'm going to do now here. I'm going to bump out of here. I'm try to, the problem is the wind is really blowing hard into the weeds, so i got to throw far away and then try to let the current, the wind, bring my bait back in closer to the weed line. So that's what I'm doing. Let's keep going. Got a slight break in the wind for a second. Let's see if we can see if that helps or hurts. Just kind of dragging it. Let it sit a minute, dead stick it. Shake it a little, drag it a little. You want it to stay on the bottom. Although sometimes swimming it will get you a bite, but most of the time you get the bites while it's just moving or dragging or hopping along the bottom. I got several bites casting right along this direction a little bit ago. And I'm just kind of bringing it up. Oh, I got something right there. There's a bite. How about that? That thing, he, he hit it on the fall. Here he comes. There's an opening over here. See if I can get him to swim over to this opening because this is light line. If he gets in that grass like he's doing, it's a lot harder. Okay, good deal. Fish number two on the Yum Dinger. Yeah, not bad at all. Good deal. How about it? Fish number two. So the net Yum Net Essentials kit is working so far. Pretty happy about that. Okay, we've caught two, and I've had several bites that I missed. We've caught two on the Yum Deer. I got two other baits in this Yum Ned Rig kit, Ned Rig Essentials kit. So we may as well try the other two. And it's windy out here, so sorry about the wind noise, but it's just kind of inevitable, I think. So let's put this here for a second. And so the Yum Dinger that I was using is kind of a orange pumpkin-y color. The light's not real good there, so it's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna take it off. Let's try, I'll try the craw next. This is a green pumpkin craw. Look how small that little craw is. Tiny critter, but we'll rig her up and see if she'll catch a fish.
All right, I've got the craw rigged on the little Ned head. And what I did is I put it on so the claws are obviously pointing up and that's how you want to fish a craw most of the time. All right, I got the little yum craw. I'm not sure what they call it. I forgot, critter craw or something. But in the wind, whew, this thing's even lighter than the yum dinger, so. wind it's hard to fish this thing in the wind and already it's blown me into the grass so I'm just gonna have to pull it out and chart over not sure in the stained water either that orange showed up really well normally with this darker water I'd probably use something like a black and blue but since the kit comes with green pumpkin and really, it almost is like just army green, not even green pumpkin. Not really something you want to write home about, but the yum, the yum Ned Craw did catch this little guy, and as you can see, it's in his mouth. That's what he ate. Look how small he is, though, compared to my hand. You know, he's not much, but he's a fish. Good deal. That last fish on this little yum craw, it was such a light, subtle bite. I mean, he just barely, I mean, I don't even know how I, how I landed him. I saw the line twitch just a tad. And I mean, that's something you really got to learn to do. Watch that line really closely it will tell you a lot but that little guy just sucked it in ever so slightly a lot of times those little guys are super aggressive they got tons of metabolism no brains at all yet and those little ones a lot of times will just slam it but the water's super cold, so makes sense. Going to try to get one more on the craw before I switch to that minnow bait. Let's see if we can make it happen. Okay, 
Time to move. Looks like my little craw's ready to fish, so let's go. Can do her. Thought I'd show you what this little craw, how it looks in the water. Looks very lifelike, as you can tell. I mean, Yeah, pretty nice. Looks very lifelike. I'd like to find a fish that wants to eat it though. Caught one little one. Not having much luck with it so far, but we'll keep plugging away. Oh, shoot. Shoot. This is the problem with braid or nanofill. You can get hooked right on the edge of that tree like I just did. I don't know if you can see that, but lucky I got that off. A lot of times that line will just kind of slip right in the bark of a tree or in the slit and you're screwed. Problem is the wind, but there we go. That's what I wanted. I want to be just on the left side of this dead tree and see if there's not a fish hanging out there i might like a nice tasty yum ned craw Snagged. Rats. Well, I broke off my net head, my 112th ounce, and the goal of this exercise is to try to catch everything I can just on the, the net kit. Just what came in this yum the Yum Essentials Ned Rig Kit. So, <clears throat> I've caught fish on the Ned Dinger, and I've caught one fish on the Ned Craw, and I'm gonna, I've gotta go with the heavier head now, because it only came with two, two jig heads. So I'm going with the eighth ounce Ned Jig, and I'm gonna put this Ned Minnow on now. And try it. I was hoping to catch another with the craw, but man, the bite's really slow with that craw. So, so this is what the Ned Minnow looks like standing up. It's got a little tail, whippy tail. You can swim it, although it's probably not really made to swim, even though it's a little swim bait. But it might swim. I would just say there's probably not a whole lot of science in trying to make this thing really actually swim. But let's tie her on and see. Here we go, Yum Ned Minnow. Fish 
That's the yum minnow, so we caught fish on all three of them. And I will continue to fish with, with the yum minnow for a little bit and see if I can't catch another one. Bam! Fish on. Oh! Got too, got too cocky. was a fish so the bites were slow today with the yum Ned kit but I really think it's a perfectly fine set of baits that you could buy for fairly cheap there's 15 lures baits along with the two hooks. That's the only downside. I think they kind of shortchange you by giving you only two little Ned heads because the, it, the reality is, unless you're just fishing in open water, you're probably gonna lose your Ned heads before you get through all 15 of your baits. The baits are durable. The baits are easy to fish. Uh, I think they all work well, and even this uh, green and red, it's green but it's got red flake minnow, still caught a fish. All three of the baits caught a fish. The light head and the heavy head caught a fish. The water's really cold, so the bites are really slow today. That's not a reflection of See the red in this minnow? That's not a reflection of the of the uh, Yum Ned Dinger kit. As far as the three baits, the craw, the craw, the minnow, and the dinger, I'm going to go with the dinger. Um, definitely got more bites on it. Caught two fish. I just caught one on each of the other. Um, I just think you can't go wrong with a stick bait ever. And this yum dinger is pretty, pretty awesome. So that, that about wraps up the, my, my trial of the yum Ned rig essentials kit. Hope you liked the video. Hope this helps you decide either way, whether you get a Ned kit, a, a, a yum Ned kit or use some other Ned baits, you should be throwing a Ned rig. It works.